Welcome back to another product review. And today I'm gonna to take a look at how to think when you draw with Lorenzo volume six. If you've been watching my channel, then you know I'm a massive fan of those books and I'm gonna have a, probably a playlist of just these. There's so many of these already. So this is volume six, as you can see, spine, front and back and let's go through it by the way because there's so many of those you have now this here this tells you everything that you need to know in which book it is which is very handy you definitely need this after all of these there is also a how to write series as well well let's go this is volume six there you go this is your outline you got your character design animals and monsters vehicles and machines elements a layout and composition natural world and world building Introduction, the setup is always the same. So if you are liking what they're doing in terms of their layouts, their presentation, you will not be disappointed. Always lots of references in terms of different angles and you know, different approaches. Human skulls this time, usually it's always something new. And then you got your double page of fun designs. Also helps when you are, as an animator, modifying your rigs. You kind of help, not in terms of something like this, but in terms of reference of whatever they have, hairstyles, uh, something's going into expressions, even animation, stuff like that. If you modify your rig, also definitely helpful. You got hats. We got hands pointing. That as an animator, definitely helpful. See nice poses, grouping of fingers. I love that stuff here. Also the later on the composition aspects of it. Socks, not sure, <laughs> definitely great as you draw. Structures of the feet, wrinkles, stuff like that. As an animator, maybe less. Got your elbows, structure of movement, rib cages, even though that, I just talked about that in class. Someone was asking in terms of, it's kind of the setup of how many controls you would use in a spine. And I prefer to keep it fairly simplified. Not that I have anything right there, but it's usually, if you don't have too many controllers, I try to keep one or two here to treat this as one bigger piece that you can potentially you know bend a little bit, but there's more bending in the stomach area than in the uh, rib cage area. So I definitely refer to that. That's cool, I like that. Got your scapula, shoulder. Serratus anterior. <laughs> I don't know why it's pronounced like this, but you got it like this. Lace. Again, this is more in terms of design and drawing, which is great. Same with rolled sleeves in terms of how the wrinkles go. We don't really have that much control in animation. Then we have arm armor. I always love when they go into something totally specific, <laughs> or like putting on jackets. That would be a massive pain in animation in terms of you doing yourself or for cloth. You got your reading section. Characters on the water. Again, something that's very specific. That's kind of neat. I like this. That's cool. Hair flow, cloth flow. That's cool. Cool poses. Again, there's always a bit of something for everyone you want to, if you want to draw character design, but also into animation like that. Nice poses. You think about environmental influences when you have a prop, which I recommend a lot to my students. Crawling, that's interesting. Crawling process works best when we really emphasize the distribution of weight across the limbs. That's very specific, but I like it. Also, you could do like a whole lip sync area like this. Usually lip sync is done standing. It's like a weird segue, but you know, like if you, if anybody as an animator picks an audio piece, did you find a piece where someone in the original is crawling so that the voice is a bit more strained? Usually that's not the case. Usually animation is done like this. Someone is standing and presenting something or they might do some form of secondary action. Is it like this though? Kinda? No. <laughs> axis, if you need specific reference for axis. Arm is akimbo. That, ooh, good for perspective here. Easy to do animation with your CG cameras. Chapter two, animals and monsters. That is my kind of chapter. All right. That's cool. That'd be cool to animate too. Characters on a tiger like that. Got your skull structure. I'm folding this page like a novice here. Tiger hands, cool. Few poses, few fish expressions. <laughs> nice. Fish characters. Again, different. I like this too. Like for endless shape variants and designs. Speaking of variants, watching Loki season two right now. It's awesome. Jellyfish. Antlers. Very specific here. That's quite the creature there. Pointy ears. All right. Well, speaking of Star Trek, <laughs> I enjoyed. Strange New Worlds, I'm watching or catching up right now, Fairy Wings, on Lower Decks, which is also awesome. Interesting expansion pack, Fairy Wings double page, Dark Fur, these are cool characters. 
That's cool. Look at that. I like that. My dear dog is back to keeping me awake all night. So lack of sleep is back in full force. Basic horses. These are really hard to animate. Get a couple poses here. Definitely cool in terms of structure. Rock monsters. Nice. That reminds me of Galaxy Quest. Also a fantastic, one of the best Star Trek and non-Star Trek movies. Vehicles and machines. Got your bicycles. Basic cars. I never animated a cartoony car. There are some online couple of rigs there. Kind of cute adding some eyes to them. Tire tracks. That's also very specific. Interesting. But I do like stuff like that. I like that. It's like a cool setup for an animation piece where someone might run out, stumble, do something here and go into the other room. Just as a, like a general body mechanic shot. It's a big fan of, I'm a big fan of looking at compositions like these or just kind of, you know, setups or anything you can find online in terms of where you have an environment and then you can put your characters in there, thin smoke, and then come up with ideas based on the environment. You got bubbles, portals, always cool. That's cool. Look at that. That's cool. I like that a lot. See stuff like this. I like these when you put stuff like that in there in terms of portal effects ideas, but then it goes into almost composition of shots. Background motion blur. Interesting. That's a new one. Massive destruction. That would be fun to animate. A pain to do. Also, I believe there's a pack somewhere out there that you can get where you have something like this here, like a, a ground structure that explodes, kind of like a destruction pass on, on, on Gumroad or somewhere else. I'll put it in the description if I find it. Layout and composition, always a big fan of this. John composition, I just started uh, Monarch, that's the uh, uh, Godzilla TV show. Awesome. Stuff like that reminds me of this, but I love this. Stuff like this. And then you imagine, well, where can I put my characters in there? What kind of animation could I add to this? Cool. City composition, same thing. Awesome. Love stuff like that. Even this here, that's your body mechanic shot right there, going down the stairs. That's neat. I like all that stuff. Comic panels. All right. Also a new one, two-point perspective. They had a couple volumes with perspective stuff in there, which I always like. Chapter six, natural world, ground terrain. It's cute. So much heat. I love that stuff. I can't really draw and I haven't gotten enough into practicing. And I always love these books. Seeing all of this just gets me excited. I want to, you know, grab this and start drawing, copying and practicing. And then it's always a matter of time or lack of time. Don't get too uh, into this too much or not enough. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. The logs, moss, which I believe is like moss one and two like VR games. That's cool. Again, that's just like, mm, wouldn't it be cool to animate something in there? Mistletoe, that's interesting. Got your bunch, bunches of flowers. This reminds me, my mama's birthday is coming up. I'm gonna send her some flowers. Earthquake cracks, that's cool. That would be cool to animate this vehicle over this and making sure that it looks, you know, wobbly and the suspension stuff. Anyway, it's always like looking through things in terms of uh, an animator's eye. Snowscapes, same thing, awesome. Animating. Animating something where you're in charge of the kind of the environmental like, connection. Like, is it slippery or not and how? Like it might slip a bit more because of ice and then you hit rock a little bit. Just thinking of that as an animator is always so cool. World building. String and a rule. <laughs> it's a burger surprise. I had actually both yesterday. I got a burger at lunch and pizza for dinner. Holy moly, I made hunger again. Chairs. Pull for design changes here. Expansion pack. Tents, interesting. Cool. Coffins. All right, this would be a cute shot too. Little cartoony creature talking to a vampire. Why not? All right. Tal Roos. Western false front architecture. <laughs> nice. That reminds me of uh, the uh, TOS Star Trek episode. Which one was that? I can't remember. They are in like in a false Western environment. Docks, oh look at that, that for sure as a mechanic shot going through in different levels. Love it, love it. Expansion pack again, that's cool, I like it. Wow, that's massive, lots of details there. Planets, all right, good music, planets, was it, Mars? Expansion pack for more planets, this could be a bunch of stuff just planets. All right, and then some other books you may enjoy, for sure. You got your deluxe collection, 
one and two and so on they are always available when you have can see this here that's the collection so far when you do a kickstarter so a lot of times in the comments i get questions like where can you get them it's always there's always a link in the description with uh their website and their information it's always only available through the kickstarter it's cool i like all that stuff definitely recommend going through all of these i probably will, like i say create a playlist with all of those volumes go through those and whenever there's a, a, a kickstarter you can always get the newest one but also all the previous ones as a pack so there you go this is how to think when you draw volume six i think this one's a bit heavier on drawing styles and kind of details and cloth and stuff like that versus some of the volumes had more not that that's intense but for me more in terms of like posing and some animation related stuff even like more creaturey facial expressions for reference so still awesome some of the previous ones may be more animation related i would love a series in that style because i love the presentation in the book format how to think when you animate maybe that'd be awesome let's collaborate but something where it would be like drawing styles in terms of planning but also then design variations of maybe like character designs for creatures or humans or cloth and then how to combine that and putting those elements into environments and maybe how to think when you animate basically like you have your character designs and then you have a set like we saw those docs and then how would you change the set design to accommodate for your animation ideas be it more mechanics related uh, maybe more animation related in terms of like acting and then a little bit of mechanics anyway be kind of cool could we combine efforts there that'd be kind of awesome i will leave it out there i know we can but that is that that's how to think when you draw there you go follow the website they're on twitter uh it's always a kickstarter so if you're asking me in the comments i i can't tell you enough you can't just buy them separately it's a kickstarter when it gets the the new volume and then you can buy bundles with all the uh, previous volumes and that is it as always thank you for watching if you want to see more of these flip throughs that's the end youtube pitch for the algorithm like and subscribe all that good stuff but that's it for me and hopefully i'll see you in my next clip